to play to win, where we play to win. Wait, don't I say that? Oh yeah, you do. Welcome to play to win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week, <laughs> it's Halloween. <laughs> Halloween! Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cameron. This week for Halloween, we are revisiting the age-old question, which graveyard deck is best in CEDH? So this time we have Muldrotha Midrange, Anya Madness, Razakets, an old classic, and I'm also playing my own version of a reanimator deck, kind of based off of Razakats, but I'm calling it Triton Gorger because it uses World Gorger Dragon in a Thrasios shell, also being able to win off of Razakath and Tidespout Tyrant. Begin! Draw for turn, play my land for turn, crack it, going for a bad land. Play Cormox, Infantry, Violent Eruption, Exile Simeon Spirit Guide, Anja. Go to combat. One and Tyler. Attack <laughs> <Dak> and. <laughs> All right, my turn? Yeah. Draw for turn. Play Polluted Delta Bayou and cast Noble Hierarch and pass. Draw a card. Flooded Strand. Crack it. Get a Tropical Island. Cast Arbor Elf. Pass my turn. Draw for turn. Command Tower. Cast a Lotus Petal. Cast a Carpet of Flowers. I'm feeling raunchy and reckless. I'm going to generate a blue targeting Dylan. I'm gonna crack Lotus Petal for a white and cast a Gilded Drake. GTB, target Mobile Hierarch. Damn, I'm like out of this game now. I kind of figured he really needed the blue. Pass turn. Untap, draw. I will activate under. Discarding Stormkirk, Occultus. Cast. Draw. Untap on Play my land for turn. Go to combat. Attack Tyler for one. Go ahead. All right, draw for turn. Go to combat. Attack Tyler for three. You dick. And pass the turn. Untap. Draw a card. Mana Confluence. Cast Imperial Seal. Put this card on top of my library. Cast Thrasios. Pass turn. Draw. Generate a blue with Carpet of Flowers. Targeting Dylan. Trinket Mage. Search my library. Get a Mana Crypt and put it in my hand. And then I will pass the turn. I'll keep out draw. Go to combat. Cam for three. So when it deals combat damage to a player, exile the top card of my library. Anja's Ravenger. Not bad time to do this. I will cast Lion's Eye Diamond. I'll play Blood Crypt. Tapped. Cast and Tomb. I will put World Gurgit in the graveyard with Entomb. Zack, Lion's Eye Diamond for three red, discarding Call of the Netherworld and Gisa's Bidding. Cast Gisa's Bidding. I will create two zombies. And then I will cast Anja's Ravager. Pass the turn. All right, go to my turn. Draw, play land. Nate, hit you for three. I'm gonna do a little fetching. Trump and Survival of the Fittest. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw a card, Bloodstain Mark. Cast Thassa's Oracle. Hold priority on the trigger. Pay one life with Mana Confluence. Cast a Mana Consultation. Graveyard decks are going great so far. Yeah. Quick win, quick win. <laughs> Graveyards. <laughs> Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm gonna draw for turn. Water Lodge Grove. I'll cast a Lotus Petal. Cracking here for green. Lose one life. And cast a Sylvan Library. Pester. Draw. Cast Chromox. Exiling Voldaren Paria. Go ahead. Draw for turn. Take two off of a breeding pool for an Avathan's Pilgrim. Pass. Draw a card. Play Forbidden Orchard. Cast a Chromox. It was weird. Put a Carpet of Flowers under the Chromox. Nate, I'm going to give you a 1 1 Spirit. Cast Imperial Seal. This on top. Pass my turn. Southern Library. I think I'll lose eight life. The Windswept Heath. Crack said Windswept Heath. Bye. I'm going to cast Priest of Titania, losing one for Waterlight Grove, and pass the turn. End of your turn, I'm going to crack my Verding Catacombs to go get a Blood Crypt tapped. Unset. Open draw. Go to combat. Cameron for one. Accept your damage. Pass. Draw for turn. Play an Underground C and pass. Draw card. Shock and Esteem Vents. Cast Windfall. That's cool. Whoa. I'm going to respond. Cast Dark Ritual. Use one for Entomb. Put Razakath in my graveyard. Well, I think I'm not going to do anything. We're all discarding cards and drawing five? No, no, six. I have six. But I'm going to cast something on discard. Madness. I'm going to Alms of the Vein. I would have really liked to get an Entomb from this Imperial Seal, but I don't have two black that I can cast in one turn. Dylan, Instead, you're going to lose three. I'm going to lose three but I, I tutored for World Gorger so that I would discard it off of the Windfall. All right, so everyone draw six. I will give Tyler uh, the second spirit. Pass turn. Sylvan Library. I'm going to keep three. 
I have to tell you, I really appreciate that spirit. I'm gonna play a Gaius Cradle. Yeah, shit. I should have given the second one to Nate. Cast Muldrotha. Cast a Lotus Petal from Graveyard. Move to End Step and discard a Snow Covered Island. Cool. Play Lion's Eye Dem. Sack Lion's Eye for three black. Discarding my hand. Using two of the black, I will cast Gorgon Recluse. Really? Are you sure? It was the only way to get Anya out right now. Cast Anya. Go to combat. Dylan for one. Pass. Go to my turn. Draw off a turn. Play Mana Confluence. Cast Elvish Mystic. Cast Reanimate. Targeting Razaketh. Shit. All right, Razaketh comes in. I lose eight. Sacrifice Elvish Mystic. Pay two life. Cast Life. These are all one ones. Let me float a white. First tutor sacrifices Avacyn's Pilgrim. Cast LED. Tutor again. Mox Lightman on the stack. Discard Morphic Pools, Crack Lion's Eye Diamond, discarding Diabolic Intent, Savannah, and Con Sphinx. The three white. Sacrifice Underground C. One of the white for a Soul Ring. Sacrifice my last creature. This is very all in. I, I mean, if he's going to have interaction, he's going to have interaction. I'm already this deep. I have a colorless floating. Cast Salvagers. Attempt to return Lion's Eye Diamond. I will respond to the ability. I'm going to cast Chain of Vapor targeting Salvagers. Okay, so Salvagers is back in my hand. I have Lion's Eye Diamonds. I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. I had fun. That was fun. I'm going to cast Veil of Summer. W it, it, where? In his turn? Right on my turn, in my main phase. I've already drawn a card for turn. All right, well, this is not good. Nate, I'm going to give you a 1-1. One, one. Cast Animate Dead. Targeting World Gorger. <laughs> Animate Dead enters the battlefield, reanimates World Gorger Dragon. World Gorger Dragon comes in and exiles all of my permanents, including the Animate Dead, which will then sacrifice the World Gorger Dragon. Once the World Gorger Dragon leaves, the Animate Dead comes back because of what World Gorger says, and my stuff is enters again untapped. This Chrome Max, I'm not gonna have something that comes from my hand, it's just gonna not do anything. But these lands will come into play, and each time they do that, I'm going to generate some mana. I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna give you guys some spirits in the process. Hooray! But I'm gonna do that a billion times, and then on the final animate dead, there's like a an elf in your graveyard. Oh wait, I have consecrated sphinx. Yeah, give me the consecrated sphinx. <laughs> Fuck it. So then at this point, I'll have a billion mana. I'm gonna cast Thrasios. I'm gonna use that billion mana to draw my entire deck minus four cards or something, and I'll just cast a Thus Oracle. <laughs> I almost had a turn three win. But almost, yeah. Sometimes it's you just know, it a little too late, a little too long. <laughs> I can't wait to go to the next game. Any pregame effects? I have a pregame effect. Oh my god, let's see it. It's a gemstone cavern. Hey, guess what? You're uh, going first. You yeah, can't do you're that. Going first, loser. Oh shit! I don't have a pregame <laughs> effect. I <laughs> forgot that's how that works. So ready for it. Oh, that felt so good. Fucking a. God damn. Okay. Draw for turn. Play misty rainforest. Pass turn. Draw a card. Buy you. Pass. A draw. Cast a Mox Diamond. Discard it by you. Cast a Mana Crypt. Cast an Aether Spellbomb. I'm gonna crack the Aether Spellbomb with the other Mana Crypt mana to your draw card. Play a Carpet of Flowers and pass the turn. Draw for turn. A Badlands. Soul Ring. And pass. At the end of your turn, I'm gonna fetch. Get a C. Cast. Bam Tutor. I know what I'm getting. What are you getting? I'm not telling you. Alright, go to my turn. Draw for turn. We are going to play Savannah and get out of Thrasios. Pass. Cast in Tomb at the end of your turn. I'm gonna get Keteric Leviathan and put it into my graveyard. Go to my turn. So what was the Leviathan? I could have gotten World Gorger Dragon here, but there aren't any other creatures in the graveyard, which means I can't actually stop the World Gorger loop once I start it. Oh, that makes sense. And I yeah. also don't have any other creatures. So if I reanimate Razaketh right away, I have nothing to do with it. Um, in this version of the deck, I'm not running Consecrated Sphinx or any way to just like a Villas is my only just like good card to draw cards back again, like good big creature. Um, and at this stage, I don't have any ways to lose life in my hand. Although this deck can be lightning fast without a couple creatures or anything in the graveyard, it has a little bit trouble. Since then, I've made a couple modifications to be able to reanimate something like uh, a Consecrated Sphinx, something to just reanimate in the dark when there's nothing else going on. Yeah, that definitely would have been good here too. Draw a card. Steam Vents. Cast Dockside Extortionist. After that, I'm going to pass my turn. Very well. First main, I'll target Cam with Carpet of Flowers and make a black mana. Play a Trap Island, Pernicious Deed. I will pass the turn. Draw for turn. Oh, no, I don't want to do what I was going to do. What is what you're going to do? Play permanents? <laughs> yeah, and I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to pass. All right, go to my turn. Draw. Play Bloodstained Mire. Crack it for Bayou. Cast a Flinthorn Elf. Imperial Seal. On the top, go to combat. Hit Tyler for one. Pass turn. Untap. Draw card. I'll cast Eternal Witness. Sacrifice of one treasure. I'll get Entomb back. I'll cast Entomb. Get World Gorger Dragon. Into my graveyard. Sacrifice two treasures. Cast Anime Dead. Can I... I just need to make sure I understand something. No response to Anime Dead. No response. 
Do you have something? Either choose to pass or don't. <laughs> Tyler seems like he has something. He, he definitely does. seems like he has something. I'm going to cast Fierce Guardianship targeting a anime dead anyway. That's a bummer. I don't have any effects. All right, well, we try. Pass my turn. Draw for turn. Pass the turn. Did you roll for a crypt? I owe you two rolls on crypt. All right, let's see him. Evens. Evens. Draw for turn. Gemstone mine. Make a red. Float one colorless. Cast on you. I'll pass. All right, well, I'm going to draw a card. Attack Tyler for one. Pass the turn. Draw a card. Cast a Brainstorm. Play Exotic Orchard. Cast Mystic Remora. In response... In tune. <laughs> he was on top of my library. <laughs> this mill one card is what Entomb did. I, I have no other responses to Mystic Remora. Uh, I'm also going to fire off an Imperial Seal here. Fluster Storm targeting M Seal. Sure, fair enough. Uh, can I draw a card? Yes. Can't have three Imperial Seal games in a row. That would just be far too unfair. Okay, it gets countered. Go to combat. I'm going to send Goblin and Eternal Witness at Cameron. That's fine, I'll take three. Pass turn. Take three. Pass the turn. All right, at the end of your turn, I'm going to discard, draw. Untap Anya. Discard, draw. Untap Anya. Activate Anya. Discard, draw. Oh, yeah, thank you. Activate Anya. Discard and draw. I'm good there. Upkeep, draw. Play my land for turn. Play a blood pit. I'll pass the turn. End of your turn, I'm going to get a Thrasios activation. Reveal Tarnished Citadel. Put it my turn. Draw a card. I did not tutor right the first time. Cast Timna. Go to combat, hit Tyler for one. Boom. I'll lose one to Timna and draw. I think I'm just going to pass. I'm going to pay to keep the fish alive. Draw a card. I'm going to send two at Tyler. Pass turn. Roll for mana crypt. No damage. Draw for turn. Carved of Flowers is going to target Cameron and generate me one green mana. Play a Marsh Flats. Say one life. Crack the Marsh Flats. I'm going to get a UC. Pass Moldrotha. That's it. <laughs> pass turn. And a turn I will crack. Comes in tap. I'll keep out draw. March flats for a land for turn, and I'll, I'll pass. End of turn, three life. Flash in, Aven Mind Sensor. In response, I'll crack. Why didn't you Aven Mind Sensor in response to Tyler's fetch? Because I wanted to keep something up in my well, hand still, too. Okay. Yeah, I didn't just uh, want to run this thing out. All right, go to my turn. Command tower is land for turn. I'm going to go to combat. Attack Dylan with Timna and Thrasios and Tyler with Aven Mind Sensor. Take two, lose two off Timna in my second main. Get two draws. Cast Phantasmal Image. It's going to make a copy of Dockside. Boom. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six treasures. Pay a green and a treasure for black. And sacrifice Flintorn Elf to cast Diabolic Intent. I told you the first one was wrong, so it's okay. <laughs> Mystic Romora Trigger. Pay for it. Cast Animate Dead here. Razaketh. Can I draw a card? How about we'll start there? Yeah, this time you can draw. So I think there's a trigger here that I can respond to, and I'm going to do so with an abrupt decay targeting the animate dead. Well, that would do it. All right, I can't say anything about that. That means that I have to pass. I'm not going to pay for the Mystic Remora. Draw a card. Gemstone Caverns. Cast Necromancy. Targeting World Gorger Dragon. I will Deflecting Swap. Redirect to Twins of Myra Estate. Sure, yeah. So I reanimate that fucking 3-5 instead. Great. Pass turn. Roll for Mana Crypt. Take damage. In first main, I'm going to target Cameron with Carpet of Flowers and make one blue mana. Cast a Windfall. Activate Anja, discarding Dark Withering, casting it for its mana's cost. Targeting Ava Mind Sensor. Draw, untap Anja. Activate Anja, discarding Violent Eruption, floating a colorless. Deal four damage, one, two, one, and one on Eternal Witness. I draw, untap Anja, activate Anja. Discarding, draw. Discarding Magnet Prince. Draw. I'm hilariously, this is, I'm discarding Thousand Oracle and Tainted Pack. I decided to go for Necromancy instead. My thought process being that once Pernicious Deed is untapped, I can't go for Necromancy again. So if I miraculously make it back to my turn, I want to go for Necromancy first. And then on my turn, when you have Pernicious Deed up, go for this and the Deed doesn't do anything. But I'm just like, I'm going to not cast these two cards and instead do something else. It's so bizarre. Four is the max. All right. I'm going to play Marsh Flats from my graveyard. Crack it. And fetch. It's getting an overgrown tomb, and it will enter the battlefield untapped. Cast Aether Spellbomb from Graveyard, and then I'll pass the turn. Untap. Up you draw. Play my land for turn. Pass the turn. Draw for turn. Play City of Brass. Ristic Study. Pass the turn. Draw a card. Cast a Soul Ring. I'll pay the extra for it. Frantic Search. Holding priority. Tapping this for a blue and a black. A Ristic Study with one blue floating. Draw one, two. Discard. Lenoir Elves and Flooded Strand. Untapping. 
one, two, three lands. Use that mana for a Dance of the Dead. I'm gonna target the Leviathan. I'm not going to pay for the Rhystic Study. You may draw a card, Cameron. Sweet. I'm gonna abrupt decay the Dance of the Dead. Can I draw a card? You may draw a card. I feel like the same thing is happening over and over again. Someone's trying to animate that, something that's gonna kill it. Someone else trying to animate that, something that's gonna kill it. I mean, I guess it makes sense. This is the all graveyard video that's gonna happen. Well, exactly. And the thing about the graveyard <laughs> stuff is that every single piece of interaction works on this. It's, Creature kill works yeah, on this. It's Bounce so works on this. Counter spell works on this. I don't have any responses to that. Cameron, I'll come at you with three. Pass turn. End step, I'm gonna crack the Aether Spell Bomb to draw a card. And tap. Roll for mana crypt. No damage. Draw for turn. Target Cam with Carpet of Flowers and generate one blue. Cast an Ashiok Dream Render. I'm gonna crack Air Mesa. I'm gonna Vampire Tutor. Can I draw a card? Yes. Card is on top of the library. I'm going to activate Andre, discarding a Madness Creature. Casting Madness Creature. Floating one colorless. Can I draw a card or do you wanna use that colorless? Yeah, I'll use the colorless. Okay. Cast Pyroblast, targeting Ashiok. Can I draw a card? How many cards do you have in your hand? Not six. No. I'm not responding to Pyroblast. I'm gonna play a land from my graveyard. Let's cast Ashiok Dreamrender. Can I draw? Yes. Um, no response. Cast a Vampiric Tutor. Can I draw? Yes, you can draw. I wanna try to find him an answer for Ashiok. I can't win through that fucking thing. <laughs> How many cards do you have in your hand, fam? I have eight. I'm like, does one more card help him? Probably not. I don't know. Probably I don't think. Not. Cast into. We'll walk to the graveyard. I will shuffle everything back in my pass. I pass priority. For son of a bitch. <laughs> that whole time, I have nine cards in my head now. And I know you guys are like, Cameron has to do something about yeah, this. He, he has to do something about that. I'm looking at my hand, and I'm like, I don't care about this. <laughs> I'm going to neg one, Ashia. I'm going to target you with the neg one. Mill, Wheel, Fortune, Taiga, Finhorn Elves, and Blood Crypt. Unfortunately, with that, I am passing the turn. I'll keep it I will activate Anja, discarding Psychotic Haze. I'm tapping Anja, draw a card. Actually, Andre. Blood Hall Priest. You're casting that one? Yeah. Can I draw? No. Two damage to any target. If you have no cards in hand. Which you have a card in hand. Uh, with it on the stack, I will cast Black Ritual. Sure. <laughs> Can I draw a card? Yeah. Deal two damage to you, Tyler. Draw a card. Untap Andre. Go to combat. Attack Dylan for four. Okay. Play my land for turn, and I'll pass. End of turn. I'm going to get a Thrasios activation. Keep Tainted Pack. Go to my turn, draw for turn, play Cephalid Coliseum, cast Mox Diamond, discarding Scalding Tarn, cast Ponder, shuffle, careful study, discard Elvish Mystic, Dark Ritual, cast Sylvan Library, pass, draw a card, cast Thrasios, I'll pay for the Rhystic Study with one of that Soul Ring, cast Vile Smasher, I'll pay for the Rhystic Study with the other Soul Ring. I'm gonna attack Cameron for three. I'll take three. Pass turn. I'll tap Rule from Mana Crypt, no damage, draw for turn. I'm gonna neg one Ashiok. I'm gonna target myself with that ability. So top four. This late game of Muldrotha is sturdy. Move to my second main and use Carpet of Flowers to target Cameron and generate one blue mana. I would like to pop Pernicious Steed for X equals three. I'd sack this. Yeah, I'm gonna trot out a Thrasios activation real quick. Gaia's Cradle. All right, Deed. Yep. I'm gonna cast Mox Diamond from Graveyard, discarding a Snow-Covered Island. Play a Snow-Covered Island from Graveyard. Cast Pernicious Deed. Pass turn. Untap upbeat draw. For combat, cast Strength of Lunacy, giving Brain Gorgers plus two plus one protection from white. Go to combat. In your pre-combat, cast Assassin's Trophy targeting Blood Hole Priest. Spells and abilities your opponent's control can't cause their control to search library. I will go good at these. Attacking Tyler for six. No blocks. Pass turn. Draw for turn. It's just, it's nice to have. That's the thing, is that mana's nice to have. We're gonna cast Reanimate. Doxa. Gilded Drake. I'm passing on the Gilded Drake cast. Hits the battlefield, I'm gonna target Muldrotha. I'm gonna finish the steed for two. Okay, in response, I'm gonna sacrifice my treasures. I'm gonna get two blue, I'm gonna get one black. Your enchantment is also destroyed. Oh, I guess I should've floated mana with that. That was pretty bad. Cast the Tainted Pact. This is how you tutor around a Ashiok. Stop there. Put Thassa's Oracle into my hand. Use the two blue to cast Thassa's Oracle. Enter the battlefield trigger on the stack. We are going to cast Demonic Consultation. Oh my god, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> If you want more Graveyard Halloween action, we have some more for you on our Patreon. We actually have a brand new tier set up. There's a video mm -hmm. below with more information, but Spike Feeders and Playing With Power are also involved. So if you want exclusive content from them as well as us, 
highly suggest you check it out. We have our merch store link below. You can check out for some awesome Play to Win merch. We also have a TCG Player affiliate link down below. If you want some of these awesome treasure tokens, you can donate to a Black Lives Matter organization. Email us your receipt at playtowinmtg at gmail.com. We also have some spooky tokens. If you'd like a vampire bird or spirit token, you can grab those on our store as well. Check out the podcast, the Play to Win podcast on iTunes and Spotify. And we have a website where you can find all of this stuff and much more, playtowinmtg.com. .com. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. In my head, I had like such a good way I was gonna like describe this deck of like my own deck of like using World Gorger Dragon with Thrasios. No that's like ever, exactly no what you've done said. that before. It's like what's exactly that's what you said. What I said. Well, right? you're gonna sit there and go, "I'm a genius." <laughs> my IQ is 190. No one has ever no one thought has of ever World Gorger Dragon with Thrasios before. No, it's not in the database, and it should be. This list should be somewhere, something like this. Come on, guys, get one of our things up. There. <laughs> I think we have to submit, and that's just too oh, much. Oh, that's but, uh, <laughs> no, no. We're we, we're gonna be in fight. Yeah.